Normally, in any given week, there are so many people up to shenanigans that have us saying, wow, seriously, that they're all fighting for contention in our segment. But this week, this week, every time we found ourselves in shock and awe over what someone said or did, that someone was always the same person. You know who it is, y'all. Paula Dean. Wow. Seriously? Now, we thought we'd had our fill of delicious drama from television's number one pusher of all things artery clogging back when we found out that first ugly truth. You remember that while she was stuffing us full of fatty food, she was stuffing her pockets with money as a spokesperson for a diabetes drug maker. Oh, and keeping quiet for three years about her own diabetes. But what was a little questionable integrity amongst friends when Paula was still showing us Southern style love with those delicious, no calorie spared home cooked meals? <laughs> Only as it turns out, Paula thought those meals at her brother's wedding would have been best served in another kind of traditional Southern style by slaves, or at least black men playing the role of slaves. This was some of what was revealed in a deposition from a $1.2 million lawsuit against Paula and her brother. Bubba. A former employee is alleging sexual and racial discrimination at Dean's company, Paula Dean Enterprises. And when asked by an attorney about her inspiration for good old plantation style weddings, Dean recalled a restaurant where all the servers were middle-aged black men wearing what Dean described as a beautiful white jacket and a black bow tie saying, quote, I've seen pictures, and the pictures that I've seen, that restaurant represented a certain era in America. After the Civil War, during the Civil War, before the Civil War, it was not only black men, it was black women. And I would say, they're slaves. Because, you know, nothing consecrates love like involuntary servitude. And that wasn't the only classic Southern tradition Paula copped to keeping in the deposition. Dropping N-bombs on black people is another beloved favorite. Up until it fell out of fashion, that is. When asked whether she'd ever used the word, Paula replied, yes, of course. But that's not a word that we use as time has gone on. All of that and more from the deposition left Paula at the end of the week saying another word. Sorry. One video with a direct apology to her family, friends, and fans, but curiously not the people she most directly offended, and two others apologizing to Matt Lauer, who was visibly annoyed on Friday after Dean bailed at the last minute on what should have been an exclusive Mia Culpa interview. Matt, I am so sorry. I was physically in no shape to come in and talk with you. The last 48 hours have been very, very... So the uproar ultimately ended with Paula's goose getting cooked when the Food Network took her contract off the table and her shows off the air. A network standing up to one of its biggest stars? Add that to the tally of Paula-related news that made us go, wow, seriously?